First, the news headlines. MPCC slams BJP government of a freezing of Congress bank accounts. CLP leader Okram Ibobi says, voice of opposition needs to be heard to strengthen democracy. Three-day Manipur Film Festival begins at Manipur State Film Development Society Auditorium. And Government of Manipur revokes suspension of internet services in view of ensuing Lok Sabha election. Hello viewers, welcome to North East Window English News. I am Selina Kumusam giving you the latest news updates at this hour. Now the news in detail. Heading out at the BJP government, former Chief Minister and CLP leader Okram Ibobi asserted that what the BJP government fears is only the Congress party, adding that in order to strengthen democracy, it is important to listen to the voice of the opposition party. Addressing media persons at a press meet held at Congress Vavan on BT Road today, Ibobi alleged the BJP government of crippling the Congress financially only just a month before the ensuing Lok Sabha elections. He further alleged that it is a systematic effort of the BJP that all the accounts of the Indian National Congress have been frozen by the Income Tax Department, terming it extremely unfortunate. He further maintained that the freezing of Congress Party's bank where all the money contributed by its member had never occurred in the history of 75 years of Indian democracy. He further contained it if Modi's claim of India being the mother of democracy has any meaning now. Ibobi has also questioned the existence of democracy if the BJP government wants to silence the Indian National Congress, stressing the need to listen to the voice and suggestions of the opposition if the democracy is to be strengthened and made meaningful. Besides, it will be expressed confidence that the India bloc will get a sweeping win in the ensuing Lok Sabha elections by getting absolute majority. However, if unfortunately NDA retains power, the fate of India's democracy and the constitution of India will be uncertain, the CLP leader asserted. All India Congress Committee accounts democracy the last 75 years Mother of democracy ni aina honorable prime minister na without opposition voice opposition particularly Indian National Congress se karimta ngam ga yaroi karimta mukmen karimta tau ga yaroi ai ga di I don't know democracy, she cried, no democracy. You want to say, Oh, I party the super not or me. I Maru in a Congress, Congress, Congress. I did my new hiding a BJP in a high with a PDBC Congress Captain Congress Captain Eva Moino. The key is I don't know. Yamna democracy set for a pamada. LD democracy, the Hensi high with a target. Opposition give voice issue. I love the avenue, lonely, no, do the lali hair, lali hair. Don't clarification to the regular lawyer. I do not, Mamma, the D. Democracy, smile some toxalava, smile some toxalati. Democracy, you want to talk left about dictatorship, Sassan Ama Purunava. Then you may in case a quid tadi taja day and the clacker do you were twenty four year old to Sava elections the day. I am the sound of the Hazard in the block. Who saw it so it's not for a absolute majority. Hangana, a nova, Sakar, Miss Center, the Lapani Hives, for example. 
On the other hand, President of MPCC Kaisam Megachandra stated that the funds of the INC are public's fund contributed by MLAs, MPs and party members. Freezing the bank accounts of the INC just a month ahead of the Lok Sabha election is the effort of the BJP to paralyze the INC to make the party unable to undertake any election campaign or take any actions, he alleged. Megachandra further questioned how will be the election take place when the bank accounts where funds contributed by the public were deposited have been frozen and closed. Freezing the accounts is akin to saying BJP alone will fight the election, Megachandra continued. Congress, Indian National Congress, 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 public Congress, public Congress, donation. Congress, Congress, party Congress, 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 Congress <laughs> the three day Manipur Film Festival organized by Heritage Earth and Cultural Center began today at Manipur State Film Development Society MSFTS today. The film festival is organized under the aegis of Northeastern Council and EC. Retired IAS Arkenimai, Chairman of Film Forum Manipur Laimayum Surjakanta Sarma, Director of Jawaharlal Nehru Manipur Dance Academy Bilash, and film producer Oinam Roman were among the dignitaries who attended the inaugural event of the film festival. A total of five films were, will be screened during the festival. On the first day today, Manipur feature film Imagi Ninkam, directed by A. Shyam Sarma, was screened. As part of the inaugural event today, producers of films to be screened were presented with simple gifts. Speaking on the occasion, Arki Nimai underlined the importance of film festivals to promote a film industry, stating that there have been many changes in, te in techniques of film productions over the years. He stressed the importance for the film producers to thoroughly learn about this new techniques. Despite all the changes, people can still learn from old and classic films, he said. Arkinimite continued that the film movement will advance if the films screened during the film festivals can give meaningful messages to the people. He also emphasized the need on pro to produce films based on the universal theme. <laughs> example Magi Montes editing technique the finest propaganda film there in the 
The government of Manipur has today revoked the suspension of internet services in adjoining areas of the state from today. An order released by Chief Secretary Government of Manipur, Vinod Josie, said, After reviewing the prevailing law and order situation and requirement of the internet services related to the ensuing general Lok Sabha elections 2024, the state government decided to revoke the suspension of operations of the mobile towers in the adjoining areas of nine districts. It may be mentioned that the internet services were earlier suspended in the stretch of two kilometer radius along adjoining areas between Chandal and Kakching districts, Chua Chanpur and Bisnupur Bishnu, district, Chua Chanpur and Kakching districts, Kangpokpi and Imphal West districts, Kangpokpi and Imphal East districts, Kangpokpi and Thobal districts, and Tengnopal and Kakching districts. The order also requested all internet users to refrain from activities which may cause situations which would warrant suspensions of internet services in future. The 15-day cultural holiday peace camp organized by Universal Friendship Organization UFO Northwest Division Awang Nongchuk Pana Tengo Lakpa Loishang concluded today at Lairen Kabi in Imphal West District. UFO members were honoured and welcome song was presented to mark the closing of the event. Speaking on the occasion, Social Welfare Minister Haikam said, Development and peace go hand in hand. Without peace, there will be no development. People of the state tend to blame the Chief Minister of State for the crisis in the state as he is the leader of the state. However, people need to recall how the crisis broke out, he said. He aided that the issue can be momentarily resolved but another more dangerous crisis may break out. He also lauded the UFO members for taking the responsibility in protecting the state during this crisis. <laughs> ที่อันนี้ด้านสิ่งที่สุดที่มันหมดตามไปก็ประชาชนเสียสละออกไปเพราะเงินมันจะเป็นมีจะเป็นเงินเดือนพันบาทเงินเดือนพันบาทเลย
Maruya, a quick business people, singing in Teresa, a quick Abotoram, Kayama, a Pomanabo, the Montaco, a good job. Let us take a quick break. Mega Minds Coaching Institute for competitive exams. Endorsed and guided by successful IAS, MCS, and bankers. ZFC Zenon Foundation course for SSC, Banking, UPSC, and MPSC. Now at Thopa. Mega Minds, empowering the experience. Welcome you all to Yunapa School Chanu in Fal East, a fully residential school ranked Manipur number one in all India school ranking awards 2023-24 by Education World and Co-Education Board in School Category. Academic season for 2024-25 will begin on 1st April 2024. Registrations are open for classes 4 to 9. Hurry up for registration. Diabetes Colonial Hill Liver Sink, Tamagi Manunda, Control Tobangam Lay, Urea, Cretinine Wangosu, Tamagi Manunda, Hantabangam Lay, Kong Hambanuai Tebasu, Numit Manganigi Manunda, Fahan Bangam Lay, Pile Cybadi, Musan Nabasu, Chama de Chama, Fahan Bangam Lay, Cholesterol Wangba, Numit Kunida, Normal Oibangam Lay, BP Wangosu, Tamagi Manunda, Normal Oibangam Lay, Fatty Liver Oibasu, Tamagi Manunda, Fagan Hanbangam Lay, Pumnamak, Natural Oibahida, Makana, in Germany, a young soaker about side effect, a matter like tea, Makata Hidak Chabaki Matosu Tanaroi, Hena Kuba Parogi the Mak, Nasima Clansin Biro, Diabetes Hospital, Soibam Lakei, a young Pali Road opposite Karkinos Jennings Hospital, Porompat, in Fall East, near Punjab National Bank. Introducing a new big challenge at SSK Solution. Admission open for Sunday and Delhi classes. In this program, you will be able to be a powerful communicator, speak with tonality, get the pleasing personality, enhance your beauty and lifestyle. Sense of wellness and helping behaviors, table etiquette, love cleanliness and hygiene culture, art and craft as hobby, and culinary skills. Limited said, so grab the opportunity. We also provide a specialized classes on main topics like vocabularies, voice and accent, intonation, and grammar. For more details, contact SS Career Solution, Second Floor, Gypsy Building, Moore Market, Fauna Bazaar in Fall. For more information, kindly do call us at 762-896-0947. Welcome back. Situation in the state was under control during the last 24 hours between March 20 and 21, as per a report from Manipur Police Control Room. The report said search operations and area dominations were conducted by security forces in the fringe and vulnerable areas of hills and valley districts. Yesterday, security forces arrested two persons along with contraband drugs, including nine big packets and one open packet containing, about, containing around 80,000 WY tablets weighing about 11.740 cases from Cannon Vang Village, Moray. They have been identified as Tongko Hao Haukipt, 44 years of age, and Jamkulon Baite, 48 years of age, both residents of Moray. Two mobile phones, 400 rupees cash, and one auto rickshaw were seized from them. A case has been registered for further investigation, the report said. On the other hand, movement of 219 and 255 vehicles along National Highway 37 and National Highway 2 respectively with essential items were ensured. Strict security measures were taken up in all vulnerable locations and security convoy was provided along sensitive stretches in order to ensure free and safe movement of the vehicles. A total of 128 checkpoints were installed in different districts of Manipur, both in the hills and the valley districts, and police detained 313 persons in connections with violations in different districts of the state, the report aided. With an objective of helping students to choose the right career path, SS Career Solution is organizing a mega counseling event tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. in Thawal Tennis Indoor Stadium near Thawal College at Thawal Wang Mataba. The SS Career Solution said it will brief the students in how to choose their suitable career. They will also help students choose subject options of physics, chemistry, maths or physics, chemistry, biology and to choose among and to choose from among top 10 India career options. 
It has invited parents and guardians to participate in the event and support their children in making informed career decisions. The National People's Party NPP candidate for the Silong parliamentary seat, Dr. Mazel Amparin Lindo, officially filed her nomination before the returning officer of East Kasi Hills today. Accompanied by M NPP leaders including Meghalaya Deputy Chief Minister Priston Tinsong and Shneobalang Dhar, Lindo marched from her residence in Laitumkra to the bust of her father, led Peter J. Marbaniang, who was a Lok Sabha MP in 1989 to 1996, to seek his blessing. Then they proceeded to the NPP head office and letter to the Deputy Commissioner's office in East Kasi Hills, Silong. Lindo serves as a cabinet minister in the MDA2 government. We have seen that there are no permanent positions both in parties nor in positions in the legislature or in the executive. I believe that having worked with few political parties who are feeling if not directly themselves as candidates, but at least I have worked with them. I know the pulse, I know the mind, I know the modus operandi. I am familiar with their terms and their support. And because we come from a very close-knit support system, I feel I will be advantaged. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has withdrawn petition against his heirs from the Supreme Court in the alleged liquor policy scheme. According to sources, he will now approach a lower court in accordance with the protocol. The move comes hour after BRS leader K. Kavitha's petition was denied by the top court. She was arrested in the same case last week. The same bench that heard Kavitha's case had been assigned to hear the plea by Arvind Kejriwal. The ED had named him in the Delhi liquor policy linked money laundering case and had sent nine summons to him to appear before it. However, Kejriwal skipped all summons, terming them illegal and politically motivated. India and Bhutan today exchanged several agreements of mutual interest to further strengthen their partnership. Documents were exchanged between India and Bhutan in the presence of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Prime Minister of Bhutan Sering Tukge in, Timf in Thimpu. India is currently engaged in capacity development of Bhutan and assisting several projects in the sectors including hydroelectric, digitization, financial inclusion, health and education. India is providing support to various digital programs like e-business national single window, Bhutan Integrated Taxation System, Integrated Citizen Services and Digital School to enable Bhutan become, becoming a smart, connected and inclusive society. The Prime Minister which borrowed this morning on a two-day state visit to Bhutan. He was warmly received by his Bhutan counterpart Sering Topke at Paro Airport and accorded a ceremonial welcome. During the visit, Prime Minister will have the audience with King of Bhutan Jigme Keshar and Fourth King of Bhutan Jigme Singye Wangshuk. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will also inaugurate the Gyalswen Jetsun Pema Mother and Child Hospital in Thimphu tomorrow. The state of the earth hospital has been built with the assistance of India in Thimphu. Before we end, let's take a quick look at the headlines once again. MPCC slams BJP government over freezing of Congress bank accounts. CLP leader, CLP leader O Ibobi says, voice of opposition needs to be heard to strengthen democracy. Three-day Manipur Film Festival begins at the Manipur State Film Development Society Auditorium. And Government of Manipur revokes suspension of internet services in view of ensuing Lok Sabha elections.
And that is all we have for now, but for more news updates, keep watching Nordis Window.